After spending 23 days in the hospital, the little girl run over by a lawnmower now back at home tonight. And she's adjusting to her new life after a rare surgery that saved part of her leg. New at 10, Jenna Hatcher caught up with her at the home in Richmond, Missouri. The community has showered Izzy Smith and her family with an incredible amount of love. Look at this. Someone built a new railing for the family so Izzy can get up and down the steps when she gets her prosthetic. But what's most impressive is the strength and resilience of this little girl. I miss walking. You'll be there soon. <laughs> You know, still walk with my walker with my new leg. Mm -hmm. It's been a little more than a month since Izzy's grandfather accidentally ran her leg over with a lawnmower while Izzy was playing outside. I was just playing the game, and I thought he was going always forward, but turns out he was going backwards and forwards. And through that cute little gap tooth smile is optimism from a six year old who wants grandpa to forgive himself. I told him, don't be mad at yourself. It's just an accident. To save Izzy's leg, doctors performed a rare surgery by removing a section of her shin, rotating her foot and attaching it to her thigh. Her foot functions as her knee and will soon fit into a prosthetic so she can walk again. But for now, she depends on her wheelchair and her mother's loving arms. Her positive attitude, it makes me seem like the minor paper cuts and stuff, you don't even have a right to complain about if she can go all this time without complaining about what's happened to her. Good job. And while there is no whining in this household, you do hear the sound of a little girl who is ready to tackle life's next challenge. I got my eye on the ball, though. Kids are more resilient than you would ever believe. I learned that the worst thing is never the last thing, and you just learn to accept stuff and move on. There you go. Good job. Fine. Uh huh. It was a home run. In Richmond, Missouri, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News. Oh, so good to see you smiling there. Now, there will be a 5K walk and fundraiser for in her hometown on Saturday.